Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 481 Anthony Drive in Oakville. We are very pleased to be presenting this home uh, for sale today. It's a beautiful back split, delightful street. Amazing, amazing location. We're located just off of Chartwell Road, and uh, and the home itself actually backs onto Maple Valley Park, which is a huge bonus for those of you that might be looking for a ravine or a private backyard because it backs right onto the park. And we'll show you that a little bit later. Uh, welcome. It's a a back split. Oh. And I should also say, my name is Nancy Robertson. I uh, am here with Andrew Cadwell. Uh, we are pa partners at the Robertson Cadwell Group and uh, with Sotheby's International Realty Canada. So, welcome. This home is listed for $1,498,000. Our price very well, we think. Um, it's almost uh, just over 2,000 square feet of living space. The main floor is open concept. Lovely living room. Built-in cabinetry. Um, hardwood flooring. The bay window that you see behind uh, you opens out onto the street and it makes for a very sunny, light-filled home. Beautiful bay window. So this is just left of its front door. Of course, a coat closet at the front entry um, with a proper foyer before entering really the heart of the home here. Um, the kitchen, dining, and of course, its connectivity to this beautiful living room. Yes, it's really, really a charming, charming space, honestly. Uh, small family, obviously, because it, it is just over 2,000 square feet. Um, there are four bedrooms, however, and two full bathrooms. So certainly a, a family can live here. It's a perfect size for anybody that's considering right sizing. The key here is location. We're in Old Oakville. You can walk to the GO train from here. You can walk to uh, the plaza that has Whole Foods, Starbucks, the LCBO, Longos. Um, the, the, uh, you know, it's a fantastic location. Now, Old Oakville has a new community center. It's just a few blocks from this house. You can walk there easily as well. Uh, Post Park is a, a park that is well known to all the neighbors. Uh, there's a great soccer field there that the Oakville Soccer Club uses for games. Uh, but what's even more important is the beloved dog park that is located in Post Park. Um, I just thought I'd point out there. these really fun and funky chairs, giving this home real personality and flavor. Um, and of course, um, just bringing back to the kitchen for a moment with the farmhouse sink, the bridge faucet, the open shelving. The you know, built-in counter on the... Absolutely. For an L-shaped kitchen, they really thought of flow, prep areas, and cabinet-fronted appliances, which is really a luxury feature. Um, and we'll go down towards this what Second used to be space. the garage. So this used to be the garage many years ago. It was converted to the family room. And, uh, you know, they use this constantly. Um, it is one of their favorite gathering spaces. This is where they put the television. Uh, there's a beautiful window uh, overlooking the front yard. Um, it uh, was replaced recently, as were the... Um, the front doors that we came in. And fantastic light passing through this space, front and back. You really, you have a beautiful view to your left and to your right. To your right, of course, is that creek setting, or the green space setting, um, which is 
really quite private with this little alfresco dining area um, surrounded by the pony walled brick kind of privacy areas. Oh, pardon me. Let's just be sure this door is unlocked for us. And so, you know, what a beautiful little private setting. Yeah, it's a gorgeous private patio. And then of course, when you look uh, towards the back, all there is in the background is the park. Uh, it's a fully fenced yard. So if you're, if you are a do dog owner or you wanna contain your wild children, it is fully fenced and uh, and beautifully done with, you know, a, a creative um, fence line to allow for the board landscape to still be a major feature. Gorgeous tree. Couldn't be a better time to fall for a really show of property like this. And again, the hedge privacy does stay on both sides, which is an added bonus with the board and batten siding wrapping the rear of the home that you can see here. We will not be holding a public open house here. Um, we're just still in the pandemic and so we are uh, careful. Um, so this will be what we were using for our uh, for an open house video. Again, just kind of re-entering that front formal living room, the dining off the kitchen. So we're gonna do the upstairs first, but actually just before we take off upstairs, a nice little spot for homework or the phone or a laptop um, easily to kind of get set up. One of the bedrooms up here is being used in, as an office, as you can imagine, everybody's working from home. Uh, so there are three bedrooms. They're a good size. Mm -hmm. So this homeowner has chosen to set the lower bedroom as a real um, primary suite, um, whereas this would be the largest bedroom for the second floor um, with full closet and with a beautiful window to the rear yard. But we'll show you that primary suite after we finish the second level. Mm -hmm. Then a closet just right here. To Nancy's point, this is that second bedroom you know plenty for a bedroom but functionally used as a office at the moment some nice wainscoting beadboard around the perimeter of the room give it a little added charm and here you can see some of the beauty of the rear yard the leaves beginning to fall Uh, to your, oh sorry, you haven't done this. This is the third bedroom. Pardon me in the mirror. But again, the beadboard repeated. Nicely finished bedroom. Nice and bright as well. The home was built in 1969, so it's 52 years old. Obviously it's had lots of updates. And one of the most recent updates is the uh, main family bathroom, it was completely renovated in 2019. What a beautiful vanity. I love the natural wood tones everybody is doing. Beautiful, bright and private window in your bathroom. Subway tiled, um, four piece, with great storage underneath the vanity. Hardwood floors up here. They are the original hardwood floors throughout the home, but they're hardwood. Nice crown molding as well. So again, being a side split will take you to the lower half. Not a side split. Or sorry, not side split, pardon me. Rear, like back split, um, three level. 
So this is that primary suite created. With the exposed brick behind the headboard, which is such a fun detail. And this primary suite has quite a nice ensuite with glass shower, curbless. Um, beautiful rain shower head, polished nickel fixtures, and travertine floor. Pocket door for functional kind of space there. Here's a little settee for a desk or you know, a second workspace. Nice and bright. And the laundry is nested just off the primary suite with a glass tile backsplash, some stainless steel um, laundry sink and functional countertop. And they've dressed the furnace and utility area just with this perforated screening, privacy screening, which is quite useful. And then behind the laundry room, of course, is uh, 500, almost five, just over 500 square feet of crawl space for storage. Mm -hmm. So a few details just to refresh you. Um, 1,510 square feet on this main level and upstairs where the three bedrooms and the full bathroom are. And then there's another 534 square feet in the basement in the lower level with the primary on, uh, bedroom with ensuite. Taxes are just shy of $6,200 for 2021. Um, and we're, we're listed at $1,498,000. And we are looking at offers on Monday, um, they need to be registered by 5 p.m. And um, do not hesitate to get in touch with either Andrew or I if you have any questions whatsoever. We are happy, uh, happy to answer. And we're gonna post this video so that you're able to see it on a regular basis. Thank you very much everyone for tuning in. Um, call us if you need us. Thank you.